welcome to another edition of Breaking Ice Podcast, where we bring you extreme cultural phenomenons, the unusual. And tonight we have none other than an enigma known as Incorporeal. And I am your host, Big Z the Anteater. Incorporeal, will you please introduce yourself? <sighs> Whoa, that was something okay. So first thing, Corporeal, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, tell us about your name because it's quite unusual. Was it a nickname? Was it a birth name? Or was it a name that you created as an artist? First of all, I was never born. I am merely a figment of your imagination. As my name comes to you, so shall it be. Oh my god. Oh my god, Incorporeal. You kill me right there. How exactly did I imagine you? What do you mean, like you're a ghost or something? What do you mean? I imagine you. Explain that to me. And explain that to the world. Why not? Go ahead. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. But it can change forms. That's ice to water, and water to vapor, and vice versa. And whatever the mind can imagine, the mind can create. And I simply was needed at this point in time, right here, right now. So I sort of get it. But not quite. Let's try to put it in human terms. Okay, let's see. You're here. You're okay. Let's see. I created you. So where exactly are you from? What city do you represent? Where are you from, you know? Well, that's both here and there. I exist in the distant gray area between space and time. In Carkrail, you're an interesting character. Yeah, tough, Cookie. Now let's try a different angle. Okay, let's talk about your lyrics. You've been praised as the greatest poet of our time. How exactly do you find your inspiration how do you write like this? I am like a prism. The light hits me, and out comes a rainbow. It's not me. It's those spiritual forces out there passing through me. As a vocalization, I am merely reflecting society. I am a mirror. Oh, okay, that's quite humble of you. Quite interesting. How do you come up with the music? I am part of Cosmic Crew. And within the crew, we have an amazing producer called Time Gold. And she is like a machine producing sound day. So you talk about all these spiritual forces and cosmic this and cosmic that, but you, even your visuals are quite trippy, very psychedelic. How do you come up with those?
Well, in the Cosmic Crew, we collaborate and yet we each have a focus and leave that part up to intergalactic nomad. And at the moment, we're doing a series of collaborations globally, spreading the message, working with artists from all over.